This is the Galaxy Z Flip, the latest effort by a phone maker to shrink down the smartphone by making it fold up. The Z Flip bends down the middle without a break thanks to bendable OLED screen technology. Just a reminder, Samsung has tried this folding screen trick before. Last year it had the Galaxy Fold, which was more of a tablet that turned into a long and skinny phone. Instead of a hot dog style fold, the new Z Flip is more of a hamburger. What's the appeal of a folding phone? Well, it's half the size when you fold it up, which makes it easier to fit into a pocket. With a slightly stiff hinge, the phone can sit at a 90 degree angle, so you can use it as two separate screens or a tripod for taking selfies. When it's closed up, there's also a small screen on the front that gives you alerts and also helps you operate the camera. Opened up, this 6.7 inch screen is good for everything else you do on a smartphone, like watching video. There is a retro cool to having a phone that snaps shut. Remember when you used to do this at the end of a call? I'm done. Motorola, which made the iconic Razer flip phone in 2003, also just tried to bring it back with a folding screen. But hold your horses, is the Z Flip actually durable? Things did not go well for Samsung with the Galaxy Fold, which came with a long list of warnings about how you might break it. For the Z Flip, Samsung switched to a kind of bendable glass, which it says will resist scratches. It also added protection in that hinge to keep dust and lint out. They say it's good to open and close at least 200,000 times. But of course, we'll have to do this a whole lot of times in the real world to know how it really will hold up. Just one more problem. The Z Flip is very expensive. One of these is gonna cost you $1,400. No wonder they painted it gold. That's less than that new Motorola Razr, but still as much as Samsung's top new Galaxy S20 Ultra. And the Flip? doesn't have a crazy zoom camera or 5G. The Z Flip arrives in stores on February 14th. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Time to test the gadgets. I'm Jeff Fowler, tech columnist at The Washington Post. Real journalism matters. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to follow our latest reporting and analysis. You do not want to know how many of these I have lost.